for his faithfulness, for his goodness, for his backings, and for his support. We bless the name of the Lord for your life, for what the Almighty God has been doing. We bless him because of the way he's been answering our prayers. Let's pray together. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jehovah, the King of kings, your mercies endure forever and ever. Oh, praise his holy name, the God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jehovah, the mighty ones, your mercies endure forever and ever. Oh, praise his holy name. Let go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Magnify him, the only one who has never disappointed us. The King of glory, the Lord of lords. The eternal rock of ages, the I am that I am. Go ahead and bless him. Remember his benefits. Remember his glory, his power over your life. Remember the day when you were down, how this almighty God lifted you. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Oh, in his mercy, and wiped away your tears. Give him all praise for putting food on your table. Give him all praise. Give him all praise. The Lord God who has healed us, who has delivered us, who has set us free from all the power of darkness. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise for your home, for your wife, for your husband, for your children, for your family. Give him praise even for your nation, for your government. Give God praise. Give God praise. Father, we thank you. Almighty God, we thank you. God of covenant, the almighty, the king of glory himself, the Lord of lords, we give you all praise. We give you all praise. Daddy God, we give you all praise. Eternal God, we give you all praise. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Now begin to bless the name of the Lord for all the blessings you've received. During this RCCG prayer in platform, magnify him for answered prayers. Give him all praise for his faithfulness in our midst, for his signs and wonders and miracles. Oh, bless him, bless him, bless him. Give him all praise, all honor, all adoration. Father, we thank you for the miracles, for the signs, for the wonders, for what you've been doing in our midst, oh God. We cannot thank you enough, Daddy. Because of your being present all the time. You've made yourself available in our midst, oh God. We want to say thank you for your covenant. We want to say thank you for your grace. We want to say thank you for your backings. We want to say thank you for your power. We want to say thank you for your loving kindness. We want to say thank you. Please, Daddy God, accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's begin to thank the living God on behalf of our parents in the law, our dear daddy and mommy Adebuye. Go ahead and bless the Lord for their lives. The Bible says, in his fullness we all received, and grace for grace. Before the almighty God, our daddy receives, and by his grace, by the grace of God, this particular anointing is passing unto us. We see what we see today because the Lord God has made them available in our lives. Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Father God, we thank you. On behalf of our parents in the Lord, or your son, your daughter, mommy and uh, daddy and mommy and Deboe, we want to say thank you very much, O God, for your goodness, for your faithfulness, for your enablement, for your power, for your grace upon their lives. Take all glory, take all honor, take all adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our daddy, our king, 
our Lord, our Messiah and Desire, our hope, our anchor, our backbone, everything you have to us, O God. We want to say thank you. For our just today, we want to say thank you. For our today, we want to say thank you. For our tomorrow, we want to say thank you. For your support, we want to say thank you. For your backing, we want to say thank you. Ah, Daddy, where do we start from? Where can we start from? Almighty God, you are real. Daddy God, you are real. King of glory, you are real. We want to say thank you very much for making yourself available in the advance of our lives. Take all glory. Take all honor. Take all adoration. Today, like never before, Daddy God, intervene in the advance of our lives. During the prayer ring of today, just glorify your name. Magnify your name. Showcase your supremacy. Demonstrate your almightiness. And let it be said that truly the Lord has met with his people. Thank you, Daddy, because it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And wherever you are all over the nation, lift up your hand and shout another hallelujah. Wow. To God be the glory. Honor and adoration. One more time, we want to appreciate our parents in the Lord. We want to say that we do enjoy the presence of the Lord. Simply because you've made yourself available before God. And the anointing is flowing. We bear witness every day that this God is real, the Almighty. I would love to read some testimonies, brethren, before we move on to see what the Lord is doing in our midst, his faithfulness, his glory, his power, how he has decided to make himself available in the best of our life. Our day from Nigeria testifies on the 8th of September, 2023, a sister on this altar gave a testimony of how a daughter who was taking drugs was delivered. I keyed into it because it was exactly what was happening in my family. I really thank God because this last week, my grandson came back home, restored, and went back to school because that time, he saw education as nothing and does not want to hear the mother's voice at all. Our God is great who gives solution to our secret problems. See how God is changing life. Testimony upon testimonies. How the drug artists are being converted unto the law. The parents will raise up the prayer point on the prayer ring platform. We normally meet every morning, 4 a.m. West Africa time. And that is when we are God answers our prayer like normal business. Listen to another one. Because this God is real in our midst. This one is pleaded anonymous. Also from Nigeria. I run, I run a nursery and primary school here in Lagos, Nigeria. For more than 11 years, I was like moving around the circles, children coming and going, to the point where I began to contemplate closing down. One morning, on the altar of the Arusi prayer ring platform, the word of the Lord came that there was a, pro a proprietress here completely closing down her school. But God said, it's coming true for her. I claimed the prophecy. The tide shifted immediately, and the poopy started coming, in little by little, but not significantly. I continued to raise all my prayer on the RCCG prayer platform. Brethren, another prophecy came on the same platform that... We saw someone head 
as bad as mortar bellion, and that he had begun to grow suddenly. The pastor there said, God said the lost glory is being restored. And I jump at the world because I have been asking God to restore my lost and stolen glory. Fearfully, brethren, there was a major sudden shift. I cannot explain. Every, from very few number of pulpits and virtually empty classes, parents began to troop in to register their children from nowhere. All classes are filled beyond capacity. We have to buy emergency furniture because we ran out of furniture. Today, the children are getting more fearful because people are still coming, but no more space. Furniture all exotic. We even started a color beyond expectation. I am afraid of this girl. I'm now praying to God to help me to manage the crowd. This is the God we are talking about. As he's touching our family and changing our children, he's also touching our career. Listen to this, also anonymous. I had been bleeding for more than one year after my last childbirth. I came to testimonies, and I, lay, I also lay my phone on my tummy. God healed me, and the bleeding has stopped. Look at that. Gadget now we use for prayer ring has become mantle. This God is awesome. That is the law we are talking about. And listen to this also. Olua came in from United Kingdom. God puts an end to the pain and bitterness I went through for 28 years of marriage and give me joy that is beyond expectation. My husband and I are not like a newly wedded couple, despite that we are both in our 50s. All round miracle. We call the miracles of God in our midst as balanced diet. They call right there the Almighty God touching every aspect, every area of our life. Because this God is awesome. That is the reason why. We are inviting you also to join us and begin to see the miracles of God. All the details, all the contact details will be displayed on the screen after this program. Join us. It is 4 a.m. West Africa time. Oh God, to him be all glory. Today, we are reading from Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 to 2. Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 to 2. And the message is titled, It will end in praise. It will end in praise. I can hear you say, a resounding amen wherever you are. Exodus 15, verse 1 and verse 2. Then sang Moses. And the children of Israel did song unto the Lord, and spoke, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he had thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. This song were rendered without rehearsal because they all saw the miracles of the Almighty God that He performed in their midst. They say the time when the job crawled the Red Sea. There happened to be the time when they discovered that finally they are now free from the slavery of over 400 years, and they all danced, and they all sang, and they all sang, and they all prayed the name of the Lord. Do you know, it is your turn to sing. It is your turn to dance. It is your turn to pray the Lord, because whatever you are passing through now, we hand in praise. Let's go to the passage we are praying. According to Exodus chapter 1, 
verse 13 to 14. Exodus chapter 1, verse 13 to 14, where we discover that, number one, several years before that time, they were in physical pain. The people of Israel, they had been in physical pain for several years, over 400 years. They had been there with this pain because right there in Exodus chapter 1, verse 13 to 14, they saw what is called rigor. They sat with rigor. Their lives were made better. They were in hard bondage. Ah, they suffered, physically speaking. They, their captor didn't want to hear that they were tired. If anyone just took in his seat that very time, the king will land on the body. Physical pain. Now listen, what is that physical pain you are passing through right now? Perhaps in the area of where sickness has already uh, dealing, has been dealing with your system. The Lord is here today to deliver you. No matter the nature of the physical pain, no matter how long it has been there, the same God that rescued the people of Israel from that particular pain, the same God is alive today. He will set you free. He will deliver you. He will save you. Let's stand on our feet. You know the physical pain you are passing through. You know the nature. You know the curse. You can call upon the name of the Lord. You delivered the people of Israel from physical pain. In fact, throughout their time, when they were passing through the wilderness, the Lord made sure they didn't fall sick. He took sickness away from them. Oh, yes, that is the Lord we are serving. He can set you free from that physical pain. No matter how long that pain has been there, our master is here today to set you free. Call upon the name of the Lord right now by his stripes. The Bible has declared that you are healed by his stripes. You have been delivered. The blood of Jesus is there to speak on your behalf right now. The name of the Lord is there to terminate every appointment of the enemy. By mentioning that name, every name must bow. Oh, yes, the word of God is here to go straight and kick out everything that the Lord has not planted in your life. Right now, call upon the name of the Lord. Confidently, the Lord is ready right now to deliver you from that physical pain, from that physical pain. Are you right there in the hospital and you are lying down there? I command that pain to disappear from you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Are you right there in your home and you are lying on your bed? Oh, yes, I command that pain to disappear right now. I can see that pain disappearing. I can see it disappearing right now from your system. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I can see whatever is working right there in your system right there before. All those worms, all those things that are just working right there. I kill them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered right now from that physical pain. Be delivered right now from that physical pain. Be delivered right now from that physical pain in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God, because it is done. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Hard God, we thank you for this hour. You know what to do. One, therefore, listen to the sound of this message, passing through any form of physical pain. Let your fellow be delivered now in the mighty name of Jesus. Be set free now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every one of you in the hospital right now, no matter how long you've been there, get off of that bed and let that pain disappear in the name of Jesus. Any of you in your home, any of you in your offices, whatever the nature of that pain and whatever how long that pain has been there, I decree right now, appointment of that pain is that by terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Ah, it is settled already. We want to hear your testimonies to the glory of the Lord. Number two, that day, according to Exodus chapter 3, verse 7, Exodus chapter 3, verse 7, we discover that several years before that time, they were in mental and emotional pains. Oh, they were extremely tortured. By this time, they remember they were children of covenant. Why should they pass through all this? Look at that Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt. I've heard their crying by the reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Emotional pain. Their heart is filled with sorrow. Their spirit is filled with sorrow. How come they will not be sorrowful because what they are passing through? How come all the promises of God for them had been buried? Sorrow filled their heart. I don't know the sorrow you are passing through. The emotional torture you are passing through right now. Many, 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 many a day. As they are listening right now, they are even contemplating suicide because of this sorrow. I heard just a few days ago, somebody jumped into the river. They tried to rescue, to rescue him. He said, no, you people won't be able to understand. You can't understand. And before they could rescue him, he jumped into the river. Emotional sorrow. Emotional sorrow. But we are serving a living God who has all the power to terminate every sorrow from your heart, to remove every pain from your brain. And this God is awesome. And he's standing by you right now to deliver you from that sorrow. Now the question is this. What have been the agent of that sorrow? What is giving you sorrow? Stand on your feet right now. Call upon the name of the Lord. Sorrow will disappear. I know by grace. Sorrow will disappear right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Just go ahead and begin to call upon the Lord. Command that sorrow disappear. And point to whatever is the source of that sorrow. The Lord God has all the power to deliver you right now. Ah, your heart will be set free. Your spirit will be set free. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray that prayer with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your spirit right now. That sorrow must disappear. It will disappear right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Lift up your hands. Daddy, that day, when the people of Israel began to sing, they suddenly realized that their sorrows were gone. You turned their sorrow to joy. That is why they could sing. That day today, anywhere somebody is right now, all over the world, watching and listening to this message, and that fellow is passing through any form of sorrow by the power of the Holy Spirit, who is known as the comforter himself. Let that sorrow disappear now. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive joy in the place of that sorrow. In the name of Jesus, receive beauty in the place of that ashes. In the name of Jesus, receive light in the place of that darkness. In the name of Jesus, let that sorrow disappear now. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Number three of what we can consider that day. According to Psalm 37, verse 37. Psalm 37, verse 37. We discovered a few days before that time, there were all kinds of fear factors. All kinds of fear factors. Ah, when... Wherever they turned, 
Something will dare to create fear in their heart. Their hearts shook. Their minds shook. They could not explain how they could escape at all. But right now, why they sang, why they danced, is simply because all the fear factors, were, they were totally gone. The horse and its rider were no more there. The chariots were no more there. The Red Sea was no more there that to hinder them. The law solved all their problems once and for all. Ah, because in that Psalm 37, verse 37, say, Mark the perfect man and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. For the end of that man is peace. The question is this what are your fear factors? Marital issue, spiritual issue, career issue, or community issue. What are your fear factors? You are taking a particular step and it has not been crowned with great success. And shame is looming. What are your fear factors? What are the things you have been battling with that if a miracle doesn't happen, Immediately, shame is approaching. Call upon the name of the Lord now. I've entered into such a situation in the past. I've known what fear factor is all about. When you begin to look at yourself as if you are finished, when you begin to contemplate, what can I do now? Hey, and <laughs> suddenly, the Lord has a way of appearing, of manifesting himself. Lift up your hands right now. Commit that fear factor. Mention the name of that fear factor. Just mention it. Present it before the law. Be accurate. Be clear about this matter. Let the law hear your voice right now. Name it. Name it. Name it. Name it. Don't pray generally. Not the general prayers. No, 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 no. Now you know all my problems. No, no, no. That's what we are not what we are talking about now. We are talking about the specific fear factor that is troubling your heart. Fear factor. All these years, you've married and no issue. And it appears as if your husband, is, 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 is discouragement has entered the life of your husband. Fear factor. Fear factor. Somehow, there's a lot of misunderstanding homes. Fear factor. You, one, actually going to take a particular step, but something is saying, if you die it, Commit your way to the Lord right now. He answers prayers. He answers prayers. You consider your children, and they are not giving you joy. And you begin to have, you, your heart is worried about this issue. Commit all to the Lord God. He's, he answers prayer. You see, how, how am I so excited this morning? Because the almighty God himself is ready to attend to you, and he will attend to you. To the glory of his name. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Our dear daddy, please, we are ever you are lift up your hands. We want to say thank you. You are extremely awesome. You are wonderful. You are marvelous. Many, many a day right now, listen to the sound of this message. Oh, right there before them, there are a lot of things that are giving them a, a lot of concern. And Lord, they are worried. Lord, they are confused. Fear has already dominated their life. Today, Lord, judge the way all the fear factors in the life of the people of Israel disappeared by the time they crossed the Red Sea and they saw all oh, their fear factors being buried. Today, in the same way, according to your words, say, the end of that man is peace. Get rid of all the fear factors. If one of your children are free, thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Number four, according to Psalm 40, verse 2 to 3. Psalm 40, verse 2 to 3. 
few minutes before that time, I mean, before they began to sing, the situation they were facing with, with was horrible. The situation they were facing with was horrible. But now, you can see them dancing because the situation around them now is what I will refer to as a honorable situation. It was horrible a few minutes ago. But now, all those horrible situations had left is now honorable. People can use them as a prayer point. Now, Lord, who are done it for these people, remember me also. Everyone would like to associate themselves with these people right now. But a few minutes ago, it was horrible. But now, it is honorable. You are going to call upon the law. It will definitely end in praise. What are the horrible situations you are passing through now? So horrible that people are running away from you. So horrible that people are already pitying you. So horrible that because of you, people are already putting their hands on their head. Hey, people are not ready for, to associate themselves with you any longer. You are like what you, what, what you call a, 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 a level of detachment. You are being abandoned, boycotted, really ridiculed. Call upon the Lord right now. It can change that situation to honorable situation. That situation to a feeble situation. That situation to the situation people will begin to admire. Call upon the Lord. It can turn your life around for the better. I remember the man called the, the, that mad of gathering. Who could not even be bound with chains? After the Lord Jesus Christ met that man, people began to troop him, to look at him, to see him. Say, wow, see how, how sharp this man is. Because the Bible says he was dressed and his right mind. Call upon the name of the Lord right now. Whatever that situation that has been horrible, whatever that situation that has been terrible, God can turn it around. And as you are praying right now, oh, yes, Lord, I can see God pressing the button of your life, play, playing the organ. Oh, the melody, the melody, the melody, the melody, the melody. I can hear the melody of the organ of life being played for you by the Almighty God himself. Cry unto him right now. Thank you, Father God. Glory and honor and power and dominion to your holy name. In Jesus, my fellow's name, we pray. Amen and amen. And I join my faith with your faith. That that horrible situation is over. From this moment onward, everything around you will be honorable. Will be cherished. Will be embraced. Will be loved. Will be recognized to the glory of the Lord by his grace. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Number five, according to Psalm 124, verse 1 to 7. Psalm 124, verse 1 to 7. When we saw them in that moment, we had, when they were singing, we should remember that. Few minutes ago, before that time, they could not withstand the situation. But now, the situation had bowed before them. They could not stand the situation. <laughs> they saw the chariot. They saw the horses. They saw the weapons. They saw even the king himself was the one who led the army of that nation. Not the, not the general, not the captain now of the army. The king himself. So that all the most powerful, I mean, soldiers had to follow him in the army. They could not withstand the situation. But now, why they were singing, why they were dancing, is simply because the situation they could not withstand a few minutes ago had bowed before them. Stand on your feet. What are the things right now that have overpowered your life, overwhelmed you? You could not cope with it. You could not stand. I don't know that particular thing, but you know it. 
And as you are listening to this message right now, God is addressing your case because by the special grace of God, that situation will bow before you. It will end in praise to the glory of his name. Lift up your hand right now and call upon the name of the Lord. Ah, Lord, this thing is more powerful than us. But Lord, you are the most powerful. You did it for the people of Israel. In that Psalm 124, verse 1 to 7, the psalmist said, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now what he said would be saying, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, man, when men rose against us, they would have swallowed us up quick. Oh, yes. When in their rod was kindled against us, the water would have overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud water, anywhere we see waters in plural in the Bible, they represent problems. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Said, Blessed be the Lord who had not given us a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped. As a bird out of the snare of the fowler, the snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heaven and earth. The snare is broken. The question is this, who brought the snare? The almighty God brought that snare. The same God is by your side right now. The situation you cannot handle is ready to handle it for you. That thing you cannot withstand is ready to clear it out of your way. And the name of the Lord be glorified in your life. I believe you are calling upon him already. You are calling upon him already. You are looking at that mountain. So huge, so magnificent. But Lord is higher than that mountain. He will pull it down right there before you. Oh, Serubabe said, Who oh, are thou, O mountain? Before Serubabe, shall that become a plain? Because the Almighty God by his side. The same way, command right now the disappearance of that mountain out of your life. Because the Lord is by your side to give song into your mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. And number six, few minutes away, before that time, they were surrounded with prayer points. <laughs> Everything around them attracted prayer. Oh, Lord, how will we handle this? In fact, Moses himself began to pray. That is why the Almighty God spoke to him. I've heard you. Why are you still crying unto me? Move forward. Everything around them required prayer. They were all prayer points. But now, all the prayer points, they have become praise points. In the same way, <laughs> I can see all the prayer points you have around you, they will become praise points to the glory of the Lord. By the end of this month, there's no single prayer points in your life that will not respond to praise. Call upon the name of the Lord now. And what are those prayer points that you are presenting right now? Mention the name of that prayer point. They call all prayer points we become praise born. That what happened to the people of Israel. They danced now. They sang now. Because all their prayer points are now praise born. They all Moses led the song. Later on, the women gathered themselves together with their tambourine and they began to sing, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, mighty in praises? Oh, yes, Lord. The Lord God is our God, is our King. Your situation will become praise points very, very soon. And you are ending into that particular point. We are your prayer points will become praise points. And the name of the Lord be glorified in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Number seven. Few minutes ago before that time, all their steps had to do with stubborn faith. <laughs> faith in God. Faith. I mean, tell the people of Israel to move forward. That was the same. Everything. Minutes ago, to a faith. Faith. I believe. I believe in God. I believe. I believe. I believe. The reality of what was not seen. But now, every one of them now, they have discovered 
that this almighty God is real. It's no more the matter of faith now. It's the reality of God. They saw it with their naked eye. In the past, a few minutes before that time, they just kept on believing. And as I said it, he will do it. If he has said it, he will perform it. We keep on going. But now, they saw the reality. Ah, I remember when Moses sent his spy to the promised land. All of them came back. We don't know the report. All of them gave to say, truly, that place is, is truly full with milk and honey. And say, this is the fruit of it. We saw it. It is real. It is, look at the fruit of it. And do you know what? You have been asking by faith all this while. You have been pressing on this way. Your time has come to see the reality of God. To see the fruit of your faith. Call upon the name of the Lord now. Say, Lord, I believe. I believe that very soon, ah, I'm trusting you for my children. Very soon I will carry them. I trust you, Lord. I've been trusting you for one breakthrough or the other. Very soon I will experience that breakthrough. I've been trusting you that we crown all myself with great success. Very soon I begin to explain that success. I've trusted you, God, that by your special grace I'll be spiritually lifted up. Oh, yes, Lord, from today I know I begin to have real witness of your goodness, of your power, of your supremacy. Oh, what I've been trusting you for, the reality of it has suddenly begun right now. Call upon the name of the Lord, and the Lord is going to showcase his supremacy over your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And do you know what? It is your turn, therefore, to experience this God in a new dimension, in the mighty name of Jesus. By his grace, what you have been trusting the Lord for, the reality of it is coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Finally, number eight. <laughs> Few minutes ago, before that time, they had different opinion about this God. Some of them would say, should I go in? Should we listen to Moses? Ah, did, 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 I mean, our leader, did he see the sea? He said, we should move on. Ah, somebody said, you know, all the miracles we saw in Egypt, I mean, uh, you see all those miracles. Let's trust him more. Different opinion about this God. But now, oh my God, now they've all realized the reality of this great God. No doubt any longer. That is why all of them danced. All of them sang. All of them praised the Lord because they discovered, they realized the reality. This thing is real, though. This thing is real, though. Somebody called. Uh, on the, it's, it's happened to be one of the prayer I remember. He said, Pastor, this thing is real, though. I try it, oh. It works, oh. And do you know what? I don't know whether there's any doubt in you. There have been questions you've been asking. And some questions are yet to be answered. You are still... When in it, should I, or I should not, should I, or I should not. I'm having a good news for you. You begin to experience the reality of God. You will know that you know that you know this God is real. To the glory of his name. And that is what the almighty God has decided to do for you. Because everything you are passing through now, no matter what, they will end in prayer to the glory of his name. Thank you, Father God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Very soon, I'm about to pray for you. And from the passage we have read, one question will be answered. What is the reason behind their victory? Uh -uh. Everything, the war, all the battle all over, all this crucial moment, what is the reason? Very simple. It's in Exodus chapter 2, verse 24 to 25. Exodus 2, 24 to 25. They were children of covenant. They were children of covenant. Hey, the Lord God said, I remember my covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's the reason why. 
the Lord stepped in. So if you want to become a child of covenant, all what you need to do, surrender your life to Jesus. And suddenly you are going to discover whatever you are passing through, we end in praise. There's no promise for anyone who is not a child of covenant. That's why we are referring you are bow your head now and surrender your life to him. And you are going to discover that he's going to give you that particular grace to hand way in the name of Jesus. Bow your head and surrender your life to him. To God be the glory, honor, and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We love to hear from you. All the contact details will be displayed on the screen immediately after, by his grace. Every one of us, wherever you are, stand on your feet now as you are going to pray. Daddy, we thank you for today. You are glorious. You are mighty. You are special. All what I'm asking today for all these your children, that whatever they are passing through right now, just the way though the things in the life of the people of Israel ended in praise, let all their situation end in praise. In the name of Jesus and by your special grace, we will give you praise. We will give you honor. We will give you adoration. From today onward, whatever the dark moment of your life, the light of the Lord will take you, chase away the darkness. And you are going to be free and be free indeed. Thank you, Father God. Glory and honor and power and dominion to your holy name. In Jesus' marvelous name, we pray. Amen and amen. Now, wherever you are, shout, Arisani, Hallelujah.